Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the daily office selection. Right, today's Tuesday, and we have a great lesson from Genesis. Remember, we've been going through in morning prayer the story of Joseph and his brothers, and his brothers having you know sold him into slavery, uh, now discover years later that, that he is, in fact, actually, they don't realize it yet, but he is, in fact, Pharaoh's right-hand man, and God has used their wickedness uh, for good, and he is saving the people of of Israel, the Hebrews, from starvation by being Pharaoh's right-hand man. But today, today Joseph finally lets the cat out of the bag and lets them know who he is. Uh, chapter 45, beginning at the first verse. Then Joseph could not refrain himself before all them that stood by him, and he cried, "'Cause every man go out from me.' And there stood no man with him while Joseph made himself known to his brethren. And he wept aloud, and the Egyptians and the house of Pharaoh heard, and Joseph said unto the brethren, I am Joseph. Doth my father yet live? And his brethren could not answer him, for they were troubled at his presence. And Joseph said unto his brethren, Come near to me, I pray you. And they came near. And he said, I am Joseph, your brother, whom you sold into Egypt. Now, therefore, be not grieved nor angry with yourselves that she sold me hither, for God did not send me before you, for God did send me before you to preserve life. For these two years hath the famine been in the land, and yet there are five years in the which there shall neither be earring nor harvest. And God sent me before you to preserve you a posterity in the earth and to save your lives by a great deliverance. So now it was not you that sent me hither, but God. And he hath made me a father to Pharaoh and lord of all his house and a ruler throughout all the land of Egypt. Haste ye, and go up to my father, and say unto him, Thus saith thy son Joseph, God hath made me lord of all Egypt. Come down unto me, tarry not. And thou shalt dwell in the land of Goshen, and thou shalt be near unto me, thou and thy children, and thy children's children, and thy flocks, and thy herds, and all that thou hast. And there will I nourish thee. For yet there are five years of famine, lest thou and my household, and all that thou hast, come to poverty." And behold, your eyes see, and the eyes of your brother Benjamin, that it is my mouth that speaketh unto you. And ye shall tell my father of all my glory in Egypt, and of all that ye have seen, and ye shall haste and bring down my father hither. And they fell upon his brother Benjamin's neck and wept, and Benjamin wept upon his neck. Moreover, he kissed all his brethren and wept upon them, and after that, his brethren talked with him. And the fame thereof was heard in Pharaoh's house, saying, Joseph's brethren are come. And it pleased Pharaoh well and his servants. So, wow, imagine that. Joseph's had time to think about this, hasn't he? He's had time to pray about this. He's understood, right? I mean, how many of us could have a forgiving heart? But Joseph could have a forgiving heart because he knew that it was God's purpose. What they intended for evil, God intended for good. God knew there'd be a famine in the land. God knew that things would be hard and that God knew that the people of the Hebrews, this chosen people, the people of the original covenant, would need to be rescued and brought into the land of Egypt. And Joseph became the way in which that happens. So the glory of God is working through Joseph. And here Joseph reveals himself to his brothers. And of course, their first reaction is they're stunned, right? Oh, caught in the headlight. Oh my gosh, what do we do to our brother? But Joseph is all about the forgiveness and mercy of God in telling his brothers that this is okay. You did this, but in fact, it really was God who did this for all of our good. So, wow. So today is Tuesday, 1215 Holy Communion, five o'clock evening prayer, and I hope that you will join us in church. God bless you.